Okay, welcome to the Let's Enjoy Piano Self-Expression Method. We're going to look at all the things you are. Great standard by Jerome Kern. And it deals with the melody being in thirds. Every chord, here's F sharp, there's F minor, excuse me, F minor. The melody is the third. B flat minor, melody is the third. E flat, melody is the third. A flat melody is the third. Seven major seven, then the third. Third on D flat major seven. G seven, third, and C. So a, a fun way to lay this out, octave in the left hand on the root, and octave on the right hand on the third. And practice the F minor that way to B flat minor to E flat and G A flat and C D flat and F G and B and C and E then you kind of fill in the chord F minor 7 as an A flat as the top the plurality B minor 7 as a D flat, E flat seven as a G diminished, A flat major seven as a C minor, D flat major seven F minor, G seven has a B diminished, and C major seven. As an E minor. So that has to deal with the pluralities of the minor seven. There's a major on the top, major seven, there's a minor on the top, and the dominant seven has a diminished on the top. You can check if you have the book, page 55, the plurality rules, and 6162 explain it in detail. If you don't have the book, go to the website, let's enjoy piano.com and pick up a copy. You can follow along in future lessons. So, we have a nice laying out of the F minor 7 chord in octaves, the plurality being A flat, the octave being F, and you can just roll the chord right up left to right. C minor, back to F minor 7, and I'm adding in the, the 2 finger on the left hand as well, I'm doing the octave, 5th octave. So we'll start again, C minor 7, now here's B flat 7, here's the 3rd again, B flat and D. E flat major 7, there's the 3rd, A flat major 7, to A minor, still retains the C as the melody, D, and G, back to the 3rd, G major 7, the B minor. So Jerome Kern had the focus of playing a 3rd as the melody, highlighting the 3rds, now he's at the bridge, and he kind of goes off. Oops, that's... So there's the um, D, G, D. Still part of the chord, and now into A minor 11. The D is the melody, therefore the D is the 11. Or you could voice it as a, as a fourth. But it's a, it's a little weak sounding, but sounds a little fuller. E minor 7 off the 5th gives you an 11. So that's A minor 11. Uh, turn into D. Some inner voice movement there. D7. And now the melody first. 
a chromatic nine chord tone falling into the nine and to the seven. The flat nine, nine, and seven. And here's G major seven again with a B melody, B minor octave. Turn into C major seven, which has E minor as the melody, I mean as the plurality. So there's E minor in the second inversion. And now the melody being, you can see he's going right up a G2 chord, into an F sharp minor flat, F sharp minor 7 flat 5. So that's the half diminished chord, which is F sharp A C E half diminished chord, the top of the half diminished chord is a minor. So therefore you have put the A minor in the first inversion to catch the melody note of A, but it, it's an appoggiatura here. In other words, a non-chord tone on a downbeat comes into a B, and it falls into the A. So if you have a non-chord tone, there's no B in an F minor, in an F sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord, but it falls into the melody note. So that's the appoggiatura, a non-chord tone on a downbeat. Version. Then he goes to C augmented, keeps that, and then he goes to F minor. So for three measures, E, E, second inversion, C augmented, and to F minor. He's got three <coughs> measures of common tone G sharp, G sharp, and becomes A flat now and the F minor 7. So that nice transition. And we're back home. F minor 7. There's E flat 7 with a G, uh, G diminished. Here's D flat major 7 with F minor. minor 9. That's an E flat way up there. Or a D sharp. But it's written as an E flat. C minor 9 has a major chord. It's C, C, sorry, C sharp minor 9. C sharp minor has a major E. And the melody note is the 9. So C sharp minor 9. We came from D flat major 7. We didn't change the bass. It was... Beautiful movement. Common tone bass. D flat to C sharp. And here's another appoggiatura. There's no G in a B, a, a, a fully diminished 7 chord. The, the chord is B, D, F, A flat. No B, no G. But it falls into the F. So there's the appoggiatura again. And now B flat minor starting with the third D. Goes right up to the plurality of D flat. E flat nine. Just get the seven, which is the G diminished. There's the nine in the F. And then you can go up to the A flat first inversion. Or put a little tag in. I like that uh, D flat to C sharp minor 9, D flat major 7, so I use that as the tag. So when I was ending, I'll change this A flat into D flat major 7 with the F minor. 
into C sharp minor nine with an E major seven and A flat. So I'll go back to fundamentals to review positioning. F minor seven is A flat. B flat minor seven is D flat. E flat seven is G diminished. A flat major seven is C minor. D flat major seven is F minor. G seven is B diminished. C major seven is E minor. C minor seven is E flat. F minor seven is A flat. B flat seven is D diminished. E flat major seven is G minor. A flat major seven is C minor. And A minor seven is C major. And then D and G is B minor. And then the middle part, A minor seven, A minor 11 with E minor seven. It's the 11 chord into D seven. G major 7 again with B minor, C ma major 7 with E minor, F sharp minor 7 flat 5 with A minor, top of the uh, half diminished chord, the, the um, uh, F sharp minor 7 flat 5 is A minor into B7, then we have that E second inversion. C augmented, and back to F minor 7, A flat, D flat, B flat minor, E7, E flat 7, G diminished, A flat major 7, C minor, D flat major 7, F minor, now C sharp minor 9, minor 9, E major 7 into A flat C minor and B flat fully diminished seven with the appoggiatura and B flat with D flat and E flat nine with G diminished and then into A flat first inversion and my tag being D major 7, D flat major 7, C sharp minor 9, into A flat root. I threw a little E flat there in the middle. Oh, so I hope that helps you out. It's a lot of information there. I um, just wanted to get through it. And if you have any specific questions, write me at the email at Let's Enjoy Piano. If you want to take some online lessons, buy the book uh, at the website. It's a great toolbox to put all these things together. And uh, you can really have all these at your fingertips just by knowing your chords and your plurality. And you can really have great fun with these uh, uh, standards that are just chock full of all these great chords.
So until next time, thank you very much, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Take care.